Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple site using Layout Grid. So as you can see, this is a completed version of my Layout Grid website. And if I scroll down, you can see the various, that's the various section of my website. This is very simple to build and I'm going to show you how I did it. Let me just switch to my responsive view and um, take a look at the website as well. So this is, uh, let's just go to 320 pixels. This 320 pixels and as you can see my website looks very good on a mobile device when i switch to 480 the same thing now when i switch to 768 i have a good view as well so now let's take a look at how we can achieve this using WizBrick web builder before using layout grid i highly recommend you read more about layout grid from WizBrick web builder website so you can visit this page and read more about Layout Grid. There are a lot of information here about Layout Grid and how to even go about using Layout Grid. So as you can see, I have here opened a blank project. So I'll switch to my advanced section of my toolbox and locate Layout Grid. So I'll click on Layout Grid and when I draw on the canvas, you realize it moves to hit the top of my canvas. You can't, in fact, you can't do anything to this. You can't change the size of layout grid as well as you can't reposition it to where you want it to be in a situation like this. So like I said, you should, it's highly recommended you read more about layout grid before using them. But that's fine. We can still go ahead and use our layout grid. Before then, let me go ahead and double click in my layout grid and let's see what we can achieve here. First of all, the layout grid can be, uh, I think, divided into... 12 sub columns so you can have 12 sub columns here i can create up to 12 columns so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so you can have up to 12 sub columns or 12 columns in your layout grid so let me go ahead and remove my columns and one good thing about it is that you can manually resize your columns here so you can add a column you can go ahead to resize your column using your mouse where you have this particular arrow you can resize this now you can change the alignment of your um that's the alignment of your layout grid so you can change the alignment from either left to center or to the right and when you come to miscellaneous we have the layout type so the layout type can either be fluid or fixed and you can set your gutter width here as well the top pattern and the bottom pattern which you are going to make good use of them in our project so now I'll go ahead to maintain my three columns here, but instead of maintaining this particular size, I'll go ahead and change this to four and I'll change this one to also four to have equal spacing for the three of them. I'll go ahead and click on OK for you to have a look at what just happened. So we have our three columns, that is three columns lay, layout grid here. I'll go ahead and double click back in it. In my case, I want to have an image as my background of this particular layout so i'll go to style and where i have my background mode i'll click on the drop down arrow and make sure i select image i'll go ahead and browse for the image i want to use as my background so where i have repeat i'll click on the drop down arrow and select the no repeat and change the size to cover my horizontal is going to be center and my vertical is going to be the top i'll make sure i don't have any border set here i'll go ahead and click on ok if you realize we have a very small layout grid over here and if we continue to preview this in the browser you you realize what happened it, it looks like we don't even have anything here in my case that's not what i want to so i'll come back to my layout grid i'll double click and it and this time around i'm going to set the top pattern to 250 pixels and set the bottom pattern to also 250 pixels now let's take a look at what this is going to do Upon doing that, I have 250 pixels that is spacing at the top as well as 250 pixels spacing at the bottom. Now let me continue to preview this in my browser and let's take a look at what happens. So as you can see, we have our image here. It looks very fine. Now I'll go ahead to um, position my things and my layout grid. So I'll come back to my layout grid and this time around, I need to have some form of test and a button here. So I'll go ahead to copy the test I'll be using here from another project. So I'll copy my test and bring it here. Let me first paste it here. And uh, upon doing that, I'll move it to this particular 
section of my layout in fact you can reposition this any part of your layout grid here so i can either move it to the left hand side to the middle one or to the right hand side in my case i'm going to leave it here and as you can see it is positioned here i can double click and change the alignment of it that is either to the center left or to the right hand side or justify as well i can also change the size of my text the color and so many things now i can go ahead and add another test so i'll copy my next test and paste it here i'll make sure i move that to hit um, this particular one but in my case i want to be able to create some form of spacing between these two tests how do i go about that how do i achieve that the good news is you can use more layout grid in one or more layout grid so let me show you what i mean so i'll first go ahead and click on layout grid i'll make sure i draw here i double click on it and change the um i'll change this to just a single column let me just remove this one change the alignment to center and um, let me just go ahead and click on ok so this time around that is what i'm going to do i'm going to first move this particular test into this layout grid it is going to stretch the test but don't worry now I'll click on this layout grid and i'll make sure i move it to the center of my layout grid here so let me just put it here and um bring it here so here we go now i'll move this test out of my layout grid and i'll make sure i create a layout grid for it so i'll click on layout grid draw here i'll change the columns to just one column change the alignment to center i'll click on ok and make sure i move this test to my layout grid here I'll now double click on this and I'll set some form of top pattern and bottom pattern. So let me just make this six pixels. I'll go ahead and make this six pixels as well. So let me go ahead and click on OK. As you can see, the spacing at the top and the spacing at the bottom. So I'll click on my layout grid here and I'll move it to this layout grid and I'll make sure I reposition it here. So as you can see, we have some form of spacing here. I can go ahead and increase or decrease the spacing I have in here. So now the next is to use a button. So I'll copy my button and I'll go ahead and bring it here. With the same process, if I move this here, it is not going to have any spacing. So I'll first move it out, click on my layout grid, draw here. Let me just do that again. Draw here and change the um, columns to one, change the alignment to center, click on OK, move my button to this layout grid. I'll make sure I add some small form of pattern here let me just make this three pixels three pixels click on ok and i'll go ahead and move this to my layout grid here so i'll move this here now let's go ahead and preview this so i'll go ahead and hit on f5 and let's take a look at it in our browser so as you can see we have our um items here we have our test we have our button if i switch to responsive view so let me just go to developers responsive design mode and as you can see if i reduce the size of my browser it fits in just perfectly well now let's continue to build the rest of our project i'll now continue to introduce another layout grid here so let me just click on layout grid and draw at this section i'll double click on it and change um, the columns to just a single column i'll change the alignment to center this time around i'm going to add 60 pixels that is padding to the top as well as 60 pixels padding to the bottom i'll go ahead and click on ok and i'll change the background mode of this to solid and change the color to let's say um this color i'll go ahead and click on ok i'll now have to introduce some test in here so i'll go ahead and copy my test and bring it in here so i'll paste my test here and move it to this particular layout grid the reason why we have some form of spacing here if i try to move this you see the spacing we have at the edge that is the gutter if you can remember when you double click in your layout grid you have the chance of reducing or increasing your gutter so i'll go ahead and change this to zero and as you can see it fits the entire width of this layout grid so now the next is to create another layout grid here so i'll go ahead and click on my layout grid and draw in here so i'll set my top pattern to let's say 20 pixels and set my bottom pattern to also 20 pixels I'll change my columns to just a single column, change the alignment to center. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I have to introduce some form of test which I'll be using in here. So let me just go ahead and copy my test I'll be using. 
So let me just copy my test. Let me paste my test here. Now, when I continue to move this test into this layout grid, as you can see, it tries to take the entire width of my layout grid over here. By my case, I don't want to have my test expand to fit almost the entire width of my layout grid. So what do you think I'm going to do? I need to introduce another layout grid. So I'll move this out of my layout grid here. I'll move this also and I'll come here to my layout grid. I'll draw here. I'll change this one to just, let's just say a, cell, a single column. I'll change the alignment to center. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll first move this to my layout grid. Continue to move this to my layout grid here. And I'll double click in my layout grid here and change the columns to three columns. So I'll change this to three columns and make sure I have equal spacing for the three. That is four pixels, four pixels here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll now move this layout grid to this layout grid. So I'll move this to the center of this layout grid here. I'll go ahead and double click on this and set some form of top pattern. So let's just make this about 40 pixels and the bottom to 40 pixels. I'll go ahead and click on OK. So now I'll go ahead and introduce another layout grid here. So I'll click on my layout grid, draw it here. I'm going to change this to three columns. I'll double click on this and I'll change this to three columns. I'll make sure they all have equal spacing that is equal sizes. So I make this four pixels as well. And I'll go ahead and introduce about, let's say 10 pixels, um, padding to the top and I'll make the bottom, let's say about 50 pixels pattern. I'll go ahead and click on OK. So now let me just, um, come to my two box this time around. I'm going to introduce, um, that is a font awesome. So I'll click on my drawing set of tools. I'll click on font awesome and just draw outside my my layout grid. So I'll move this a little bit to the bottom. I'll resize it. I'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit and uh, let me just continue to resize this one as well. So now what I need to do next is to get some form of test. So I'm going to copy my test from my project I have open here. I'm going to go ahead and paste my test in here. So this time around, I'll come back to my toolbox, click on um, layout grid, draw in here. I'll change it to just a single column, change the alignment to center, click on OK. I'll move my font awesome icon to my layout grid here. I'll move my test to my layout grid here. And I'll move my test here as well to the layout grid here. Now continue and move this layout grid into this layout grid. That is this particular column. Now make a copy of this. So I right click on it, just select copy. I'll go ahead and paste that here and I'll move this to this. Um, let me just move this here. I'll go ahead and make another copy and I'll move that in here. So now let's preview our website and see the progress we've made so far. So I'll go ahead and hit on F5. And as you can see, we have our website almost getting into shape. So when I scroll down, I get to this particular session. Now I can go to responsive uh, mode. Let me just close this and go to responsive mode. And let's take a look at our website. So as you can see, everything is beginning to get into shape. So let me just expand this. And as you can see, because of the fluid um, it's using, anytime I expand, it tries to fit the browser. That is the width of the browser. So if I reduce it, it rearranges it here for me. So that is the effect of using a layout grid. And it's very, very fun using layout grid because you can easily build a responsive website without so much trouble. Now we are back to our project. I want to make a copy of this um, layout grid I have here. So I right click on it, go to copy. I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll paste it here. So I'll paste it here. I just want to have another section of um, this layout grid showing here. Now I'll continue to make another layout grid here. So I'll let me just copy this one. So I'll make a copy, right click on it, select copy. I'll go ahead and paste that in here. I'll make sure I get rid of uh, my layout grid with the font or some icons I have in here. And I'll make sure I change my top pattern and the down pattern to zero pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. This time around, I want to use an image to represent or to place. I want to place in an image in my three columns I have in here. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring in my images. So let me just copy my first image. I'll paste my image here. And this time around, I'm just going to move the image to my 
layout grid now when you move the image to the layout grid let me first get a rid of my gutter i have in here so i'll change the gutter to let's just say zero pixels and click on ok so that my image will be able to fit the width of my column here now when you double click in the image there's an option that gives you um, the chance of making your image that is a full width that is when you come to layout where we have full width you can click on the drop down arrow and select either false or true um, by default, because I was using this image in a different project, I selected the true option. Now, let me switch back to false and take a, let's take a look at what this is going to do. So, I'll preview this in the browser. So, as you can see, this is false. Now, let's come back. Now, let's go ahead and change this to true. Let me change this to true and go ahead and let's just hit on F5. And as you can see, this image fits the entire width of my column I have in here. So now I'll come back to my project and set the other images. So I'll copy my next image. I'll paste it in here. I'll move this to this particular column. I'll copy my next image. I'll paste it in here. And I'll move this to this particular column. I'll go ahead and uh, make a copy of um, this particular layout grid. So I'll select this. Just right click on it. So let's copy and I'll paste this in here. So let me just paste it here um it looks like uh i selected paste in place so let me just undo it and let me just select paste so uh, it looks like let me just get this right let me copy this again so uh let me just highlight this layout grid i have here using ctrl c make a copy then i paste it down here so let me just get rid of this now I'll go ahead to get rid of my images i have in here and change the images. I'll copy my images. I'll paste this here. I'll move this to this particular column. I'll copy my next image, paste it here, move it to this column. And I'll copy my last image, paste it here, and move it to this column. I have layout grid here. I'll go ahead and get rid of it. And now let's continue to preview our project in our browser and take a look at the final thing. So here we go. We have our project in our browser. If I scroll down, as you can see, we can see the various section of my project. I can reduce. Let's just switch to a responsive view. And um, here we go. Let's just, let's just make this 768 pixels. Hit on enter. And as you can see, as I scroll down, everything looks well. It looks like I have some image I have to get rid of this particular image. Let me just come back to my project. So I have corrected that to my project. Now let me come back and preview this in the browser. So let's switch to our responsive view. Let me come back to my 768 pixels. Let me scroll down. And as you can see, everything is fine here. I can go ahead and reduce this. And as I reduce, I can see my, um, that is my images here shrinking to fit the size of the device I'm using to preview the website. So this is just a simple and short tutorial on how to get started with layout grid. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.